So here's my bit of challenge. I am busy recreating this uh, logo, or rather getting it into vector art. And I thought I was clever using the the normal pen tool and modifying it here. So let me just show you what I did. So for those of you who are not aware of it, um, I'm going to just, yeah, I'm going to reset this. Let me delete that. And this is what I did. I had a little curve area that I needed to get sorted out. So say that was the curve. I'm not spending too much time on how to get the curve perfectly. But to get an arrow like this, one would either have to trace out with it or you could just use a single stroke and, and I'll show you what I do here. So then we go to, I'm going to make it slightly thicker so I can see it there. Okay, first things I do is because these edges are rounded and I'm looking at sharp shapes, I click the mitre and I just choose five. That's my kind of go-to space. So uh, I don't have too much explanation here now. I've done it in other videos. Now come to the pressure area on the stroke. And this is where the magic happens. So if you pull here, um, you can see one is going down, but usually both go down, both these nodes, this one here and this one goes down. Uh, I've just clicked, I think if I recall, yeah. So if you click control, then it joins up again. If I click, hold it, click control down and click here, then it will separate them again. And the purpose is it's this kind of algorithmic thing. It's thin there and it's thick on that side. Okay, so one can create this kind of effect on it. So I was looking for that swish around. And then when it gets to this side here, um, this is start and this is end. In the end, I wanted it to be an arrow, something like that. So I click there and there we got it. So this is a nice tool. As I said, I did uh, videos before. If I do recall, I'll put the link in the description here where that video is. But um, this is how you can use strokes to create these shapes. And of course, you've got a whole lot of other things you can do here with it. But we have this now. So this was my dilemma. I wanted to now go and change this because if we go back here, um, you'll notice that this has got a, a white border around it. So being a outline, so being the outline stroke here, I can't add another stroke on the outside because it's stroke. So what I've got to do is expand this. And that's when I came up with a bit of a glitch here with um, a designer. Let me see. I, I might not be doing it correctly. I might There might be an easier way. But usually what I do is I come and I expand the stroke. And then I have the stroke done. So if this was just a straight stroke, and maybe I should do that. Maybe just take a... A straight thing and I'm going to take off the the end part here now that's an arrow just make it none um, and and it's still got these pressure points so I'll leave the pressure points there if I when I say pressure points it's these yeah if I now have to go and say layer and expand stroke can you see what's what happens it kind of completes the thing it does something so this is a good feature if this is what you want but if it's not what you want how do you overcome it my understanding is a control z that what we have here if i expand it should look like what we have but there seems to be some nodes that are lying in in the middle of everything so what i would do in a case like this if we go expand stroke and i wanted the other thing i most likely would just you know come and Let's see, I'm going to press A to get into the No tool. If I click here, we're not going to get the real result we're looking for. So I rather use um, these Boolean tools to correct it. That's just my workaround. So I would come here with a Boolean tool. Whoops. Can you see what's happening? I need to switch all of these things off, reset this, and maybe take, take the stroke down because I'm just needing to make a box. Remember, it... it keeps in memory what you do for the next and the next one. So this is what I'd probably do there and keep shift down, select that, and then just do the subtract. And then I'm sitting with a nice object here. And then I can go with, say, my color stroke. Let me make it red. 
the I have. So I've now converted it from just a single outline object, which in this case is just a the stroke itself. I've expanded it and I can use it. So how do we cover this group here? I tried clicking onto this and then started, you know, moving nodes here. Oops. What was it? This node I started moving, but it, it, it behaved like kind of strange. It, it wasn't that you could use or move this element on this section independent from this element. I, I couldn't do that. So my workaround with that was that I just came in and okay, I, I drew a, a box, but you could most likely just take a pen tool and click there, click there, there, there. I'm just doing it rough here so that I can get around because I want to create an object in here. And the full color of this will be, let me make it, no, let me make it red so I can see what's happening. So it's arbitrary what color it is. When you merge all of them, they'll take into the form of one color. So I'm pressing A now so I can see, um, and I'll, I'll zoom in. I know this is a bit archaic, but at least I'll get to that point. Zoom out and I'll do the same here. The node tool. And remember you can get the node tool over here or just press the letter A. So just making sure it gets at that intersection there. I don't want to have a little overlap. So what I've done now is pretty much put a piece in there. And I keep down shift and select the other part of the arrow and I go merge here. And there we have it. We have one object that we now fully can work with. Okay, so again, the the expand object takes these kind of parametric fancy objects and it, it tends to kind of break up the nodes and doesn't give you exactly what you want to. So hopefully this this will help. So create the, the actual basic shape if you're happy with that, like in my case, the arrow, because now what I can do is I can add on, maybe make it more visible. I can add on an outline and work as if it is, you know, a kind of normal setup. Here again, just a reminder that if you see your edges getting around there, you click on there and go five, and that will sharpen it. This is a bit of an over, over thing here. But remember also then you have this align strokes and how they fit into the game. So most likely this one will work best with it anyhow. You, you've got to fiddle with it. That's not the reason and the purpose for this. It's just to show you how that if you do do these modified objects using, um, you know, the expand and it breaks, you know, don't, don't spend too much time trying to get the two parts to cut nodes and that. Just take an extra part and then use the Boolean to add it and sort out that problem. Okay, so in that way now I was able to at least start to get something going on this side of it, yeah. Okay, so trust you learned something from that and share it with others, share the video. I would appreciate that. Have a fantastic day, be blessed and shalom to everybody.